Feral Animist. Goblin Test Pilot. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Hello world! In this video, we're going to be opening another pack, another fat pack of Magic the Gathering's Dragon Maze. And we're going to be looking at answering the question, is it worth buying? As I'm personally going to be continuing my hunt for Ral Zarek, while we look for him, we're going to look and answer that question. So, without further ado, let's dive in and see what we find in here. Now, I did do a previous video on opening up Fat Pack from this set, on well, this very same one. But I want to take a look at seeing, like, is a nostalgic value really worth it? Now, getting Rao Zarek, I will have to admit, will have my answer be a bit biased. But we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. So... All right, there's player's guide, normal, so you can look for all the card lists and with this one. Good old case here. All righty. More cardboard. All righty, more deck boxes too. Oh, cool. That's exciting. I believe this is a Boros themed dice. Ooh, I really like that. Have gotten Orzhov and Zorius, as you can see up there. So I'll add this to the collection. Here's the players, or the how to play guide here. Teaches anybody who just picked up a pack of this how to play. Move that off to the side. A rat. We got Runner's Vein. We got Beetle Form Mage. We got Maze Rusher. We got the Bane Alley Blackguard. We got Orzhov Cluestone. We have Clear Path. We have Fatal Fumes. Weapon Surge. We got Cerulee Gatekeepers. Murmuring Phantasm. We got Carnage Gladiator. The Feral Animist. Goblin Test Pilot. Ooh, wow. I forgot that this is one of the the sought after cards from this series, so. Oh, fantastic. This is, yeah, Voice of Resurgence. Nice to, nice to get you again. All right, Azorius Guildgate. That's that. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a sought after card. I can definitely appreciate that. All righty, we got Uncovered Clues. We got Rubble Belt Maka. We got Viashino First Blade. Got a Maze Behemoth. Hidden Strings. Crypt Incursion. The Deputy of Acquittals. We have Riot Control. We got Windrake. We have Morg Burst. We have Restore the Peace. Oh, we got Armed and Dangerous. Oh, whoopsies. And there's another one. We got Give and Take. We have Obsidat's Aid. And then Izet Guildgate. Perfect. All right. I'll give my opinion at the end. We got Izet Cluestone. We got Rubber Belt Maka. Another one. We got Hired Torturer. We have Drown and Filth. We have Mending Touch. 
Sunspire Gatekeepers, we have Sinister Possession, Crowl Warrior, the Zerta Druid, we have Wake the Reflections, we got Scab Clan Giant, we got another Give and Take, we got Turn and Burn, we have Boros Battle Shaper, and a Gruel Guild Gate. Alright, nice. Alright, a hat trick for Rebel Belt Maka. We got Hired Torturer. We have Drown in Filth. We got Mending Touch. Another Sunspire Gatekeepers. We have Punish the Enemy. Deputy of Acquittals. We got a Gruel Clue Stone. We have Crypt Incursion. We have the Opal, the Opal Lake Gatekeepers. We have the Haunter of Night Vale. We got Protect and Serve. We have Gleam of Battle. We got the Zerta Ancient. And it's Lesnia Guild Gate. Alrighty, we have Armored Wolf Rider. We have an Azorius Clue Stone, with their hidden strings. We have Ubulsar Gatekeepers, Nivix Cyclops, Is that Clue Stone, another Wake the Reflections, got a Windrake, got another Clear the Path. We get we have Far and Away. We got a Feral Animist. We have a Corosta Gorgon. We have Amara Tendris. Oh, cool. Nice. Ooh, we got a shiny Windrake. Nice. And a Demir Guild Gate. Cool. Alrighty. We have Tide Drinker. We have Smelt Ward Gatekeepers. We have Steeple Rock. We have Mending Dutch. Uncovered Clues, Battering Crassus, we have a Maze Abomination, we have the Selesnia Clue Stone, the Opal Lake Gatekeepers, oh cool, we have Tristani's Summoner, Crassus Incubation, we have Profit and Loss, we have the Obzid Outsaid, oh fantastic! We got Hidden Strings, a shiny one of these. Ooh, I really like how that looks. Got a Golgari Guildgate, a Knight Token, and we're back to the beginning with that. Got another Tide Drinker. We have Maze Behemoth. We got the Hazda Snare Squad. We got Mind Static. We got a Simic Clue Stone. We got a Rakdos Clue Stone. We have a Battering Crassus. Another Maze Abomination. Selesnia Clue Stone. The Opal Lake Gatekeepers. We have a Gruel War Chant. Ah. We got the Jelen Sphinx. Another Kurorsta Gorgon. We have a Renegade Crassus. Ooh, a Gruel Gilgate, a Centaur uh, Creature Token, and back to the beginning. Okay, all right, we got Vital Burst, we have the Hazda Snare Squad, we have the Armored Wolf Rider, the Azorius Clue Stone, Hidden Strings, the Ceruli Gatekeepers, all for the guilds. We have Crypt Incursion. We have the Deputy of Acquittals. We have Sin Collector. We have Showstopper. We have Goblin Test Pilot. Oh, interesting. Okay. We have Exava, the Rakdos Blood Witch. Cool. Interesting. Ooh, cool. Nice. 
shiny ores off of clue stone. You can add that to my white black, uh, what's it, extortion deck. Rakdos Gilgate. We have a creature uh, soldier token. And back, back to the beginning. All right, we got the Nivix Cyclops. We have a Maze Rusher, Boros Mastiff. We have Vital Burst. We have the Smelt Ward Gatekeepers. We have Riot Control. We have Windrake. We have Morg Burst. We have Punish the Enemy. Thrashing Moss Dog. Got another far and away. Ooh, we got Wear and Tear. We got the War Leader's Helix. We have the Gaze of Granite. A Simic Guild Gate. And that's that. So no Rouse Eric in this pull set. However, we're also looking to see if this is worth getting. And I would have to say that it depends on what you're looking for. So for me, as you can see, I do like to collect the dice. So have these ones. This one's from Theros. I don't know where my other dice went to. However, be nice. I like to collect whatever I can of these dice. So if you're like me and you'd like to do that, definitely worth of, worth picking up, especially since it's the, the different guilds. And if you're, but if you're going to be looking for stuff like Ralzeric, trying to get uh, more pulls, I definitely would have to say you'd be better off looking at trying to look at for a booster box, but still, it's not that bad to have, and the card list can help, depending on if you use these to, to actually like look through, see what you can get, and the checklist here at the back. The lands are pretty helpful, and yeah, I actually use these boxes, so to be quite honest, I'd have to say it really depends on what you're looking for. So since I am collect the dice, I would have to go with yes. But if you're looking for more of the cards, I'd have to lean in towards you might be better off getting a booster box. So with that said, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this, be sure to hit that like button. And if you enjoy this kind of content, help out the channel and definitely subscribe for more videos. So wherever you are, Take care and know that whatever you're going for and hunting for in life, may you be blessed. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out.